Now, remember the guy that I knocked out in 43 seconds in my first fight? Well, this is the rematch. And he came in well prepared. Of course he takes me down, because again, I didn't train with any grapplers. But I reverse him right away, going into a scarf hold, go for a choke. Oh, this is going to be something funny in this fight, I hope you're going to see it. I'm going to go for an armbar here. But he gets out. See, he pulled his elbow out, now I go for triangle. But he puts his right arm, uh, left arm back. So now I'm, um, or he is in my guard. Armbar, armbar attack again. But he's defending very, very well, very good. Choke, I'm stressing him. You see what I do with my left hand? I hold his shoulder and then I push with my left forearm against his throat and then I pull with my right hand on his head. Hey, here I turn him again. Right now I'm in his half guard, full mount. And see what I'm going to do next. You see, I'm putting a lot of power there on his throat. So he has to roll to the side to put the pressure off. The bad thing about that joke is that they can turn you. And you will read that in the Boss Rudin Big Book of Combat. But hey, I made a mistake and I paid for it. He turned me. But it was close because I heard him gurgling like... <coughs> so I thought, oh, oh, this could be it. I'm probably going to turn him now to the right, for me to the left, I think. Let me see. I'm going to bridge out. Climb on him, gonna climb on the back, escaping the back door as they call it, I go for a choke. Here we see Masakatsu Funaki in his corner, instructing him what to do. Whoa! I went for the choke, but I let him turn, so he's back into my guard. I'm grabbing his arm, probably going for an armbar again, like here. Now I'm going to try to go for a triangle. No, he's escaping it perfectly. And he's in a side mount position. And a break. And that's always good for me. I like to see those more. Nice double leg, he takes me down, goes to the guard though, he should have gone to the side, but uh, it's, he, he, the people would, would take me down on will there. The reason because of that was also, now I knew submissions and I was going for attempts, so it made me a better submission fighter, that's one thing for sure. Uh, escapes my triangle again, goes to the side. So uh, there are a few positive things about that, that I didn't right. learn myself to protect from a takedown, because otherwise my submissions would have, wouldn't have been that good. You will see them growing into the fight more and more. See, now I got his back. And we got 15 more fights to go, ladies and gentlemen, maybe even more, so. Go for a rear naked choke. I'm not under it, and he is in my half guard. Yes, he is. Very good escape. I'm 
probably going to turn him now again to the right, or I'm going to sit up. There you go. And go for the choke again, and he escapes. This is the first escape. Got him in the guillotine, but as you can see, his left arm is in between, so there's nothing that I can do. If you know how to escape it, then it's not gonna happen. I'm going again now, probably for an armbar. It's the way I set it up. You see, I'm trapping an arm. I tried to trap it. He's gonna try to step over my uh, left leg, but I won't let him. Ambar coming up again, over to Triangle, he's escaping again, and now he's in the side mount. He's going for the full mount. Fight! My corner says you gotta move. I said, don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in a, in a second. See? And there I go. <laughs> it's funny if you could speak Dutch, you can ask the Dutch people if I was right or wrong. See, I'm leaning on his throat, I'm just stressing him now a lot. It doesn't necessarily choke him out because his escape would be look to the left or look to the right. Because then the pressure is off the throat. I got the guillotine again, but again his left arm is in between, and you can see he has problems with it, but he pops out. Right away I'm trying to go for a triangle, but he's got his right elbow perfectly in place so that I cannot finish it off. He goes to the side mount again. Beautiful. Beautiful work from him. That was my side choke attempt that I did on Yamada Manabu and then rolled him over but it didn't work on him. He obviously watched that fight and he said no 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 no. This is not going to happen to me. He will probably go for an arm bar, let me see. It looks like it. I'm just laying here hoping for him to go for a submission so I can escape this situation. You have to understand this is a 30 minute match. He's going for the figure four, but from this position you cannot do it. You can, but then you have to read the Boss Ruben Big Book of Combat. And looks what I do. I reverse the whole situation. At least, there we go. And now I'm on top. But there is a way you can make that uh, figure four. But you, again, buy the Boss Ruben's Big Book of Combat because there you will have the answer. He reversed me again, so he's doing a good job. Now I can turn him to the right if I'm smart. I gotta do it fast, not anymore now, because his left arm is uh, not under my neck anymore. But that would have been the right time for me. Or I'm gonna escape the back door. One of those two things I have to do. This is the choke again, what I've taught you about. You see? Pressure on his neck, but it's really easy to escape. A side choke, 
I went, but he's pulling out right away. Obviously, he knows what he's doing. Finally, we have the break because nothing really happens on the ground. What an easy takedown again. It's that I know the outcome of the fight, otherwise I... Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sick to my stomach. That easy, he could take me down. Escaping again to the side mount. We're underneath the ropes, so with a little luck, the referee will break it up. I don't know. I push him off. I got a half butterfly guard here. My right foot is underneath, in between his legs. And the other one is outside. Let's see if I can use it. Oh, what I'm saying, he's got rubber wrists. I had a wrist lock on him there. Uh, I said to my corner, he has rubber wrists because I was pulling his hand all the way on his forearm, like a wrist lock. And he didn't tap. He made a very strange face, like a pain face. But I couldn't push it any further. It was all the way flat on his forearm. So that's why I told my corner, I said, he's got, he's got, he's got rubber wrists. They ask me, they say, boss, are you okay with your stamina? I said, don't worry, everything is cool. My stamina is okay. Stamina. <laughs> Here again, I lock my hands, hopefully that he goes, he's going to go for a straight armbar. Now I hope, so because then I can escape this situation. We're too close to the ropes for him, I push him off. Okay, that's a nice little move. The frog leap, let's call it that. He's gonna pull it out again. My hand, I uh, hit him on his head, and I don't know, re I didn't realize right now, but I broke my right hand. Later at the fight, you will see it. They will bring me to the hospital. Here we got the side choke, uh, triangle choke, and it will go over into an armbar, see? But my right hand is not okay. From now on, you will see me constantly holding back my right hand. If you still look now at my hand, you will see a nasty bubble on my hand. And um, that's where I broke it. So now the rest of the fight, I'm gonna finish with like more with, with one arm. A knee to the head there. Getting up. Stack 
You see, my right hand is just hanging there. I don't grab anything anymore. There's something wrong with it. Good position for me. Let's see if I can keep this position. I need a cross face now. Yes, oh, no, I gotta put my hips backwards, otherwise he takes me down, like this. Fight! He's not making one submission attempt, which is making it very difficult for me to escape the situation. That's why I put my arms out a little long. Please get an armbar on me, please. That's what it means. And now, hopefully, he's going to go for it, and that will give me the opportunity to escape. I make the same escape that I did before. Oh my God! Yes, we had some. I had some boring fights too in Pankers. Arm, arm bar coming up. He's already pulling it out. He's keeping both hands inside, which is very smart. I got an armbar now on him. I think he pulled it out already. There we go again. And we got the armbar, and he escapes. It's kind of a, like a figure four armbar. I tried to twist it all the way to the other side. But hey, it works. There's the guillotine choke, and I think now I have it. That's a clean guillotine choke. And he's escaping, yes, you see, because he had no arms in between. Now I know that I only need to submit him one more time. But I got my right hand. I don't have my right hand, I can punch with. You know what, during a fight, you don't really think about it. But it's crazy. See, there's no more attacking with punching. Everything is hurting too much. I'm going for the rear naked choke. And that's it. The fifth lost point. And still energy enough to jump up. Let's look at it in slow motion. My arm is already around his neck. Look all around. I grab all around and I got the choke. Very tight. This is what they call the blood choke. That was his first escape. But it was a 30 minute fight. So we needed four more. Or a tap out or a knockout. So let's watch. Look at this one. Um, I'm setting it up like a triangle choke. He's going to pull his right hand out. So that could make give him the triangle choke to me but now i'm going to go over into an arm bar look at this i break the arm put him on his back he doesn't want to take any risk and he already grabs the ropes and another one the third one again i'm going for an arm bar but he's too slick he slips out and let's see what I'm doing now. Again, it looks like I'm going for the triangle, but I'm not. I'm going to throw him on his back. I'm going to put him on his back and go for a straight arm bar. You see his elbow is pointing to the left, but still it's like an Americana, like a figure four right now. Very painful. He shoots in. I go for a guillotine. 
And we saw this time, uh, many times before, the guillotine choke. I was just very good at it. And that is his fourth escape here. Let me see, where is it? Pull a little harder. A little harder. And there it is, his fourth escape. And now the last one. Go around the neck, take his back, and go for a choke. He knows this is the last one. It didn't matter anymore if he would tap or grab the ropes.